Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. Today, today I'm going to show you the last finger, the fifth finger. One was there, then came two, then three, and four was all in color, and now, boom, we got five. When I asked TomTop to send me this, they said, we're not only going to send it to you, we'll crush it. And they did. <laughs> The box came in that way. The band is fine. Tom Top has brought us the My Band 5 from me. Me. It's all about me. I got to remember that. I don't speak Chinese. The Me Band 5 from Xiaomi. Um, it's a great band. It's got a lot of fun stuff to it. And for the price you're paying, you're getting some really sophisticated software. So those of you who are used to seeing incredible bands doing all kinds of things, making morning coffee, cooking your toast, making your bed, this one doesn't quite do all of that. It's basic functions. But what it does, it does well, especially if you're into pie. We'll tell you about that in a second. The Xiaomi Mi Smart Band 5, water resistant to 5 atmospheres. This is some of the new stuff over the 4. You've got a slightly bigger screen. You've got super waterproofing. You can dive with this puppy. 1.1 inch, yep. 126 by 294. Beautiful, nice AMOLEDs, TP capacitive touch screen. 2.5D tempered glass and all and all Bluetooth 5, three axis accelerometer, gyroscope sensors, heart rate sensor, all of that stuff. So let's take a look at it, shall we? Oh, first, first I got to tell you this, that if you are ordering this and you are international and your English, you're not, your primary language is not English or Chinese, you might want to hold off because basically they're saying this is a two language device and its default is Chinese. Only if you hook it up to a phone in English will it support and switch the uh, language to English. But the manual is supposedly all Chinese and if you need uh, to use a language other than English, well, you're kind of out of luck. You can play with the MeFit app on the Google Play Store and that will show up in your language, your native language but you're going to get have to get uh, icon driven to use this to its advantage uh, uh, because it will be all in Chinese. But that's not that bad if you understand how to use it and you do uh, take advantage of some of the really creative technology in it that gets pushed to the band to the uh, the app in the phone and uh, and get your pie score, your daily pie score and stuff. Okay, the screen off Xiaomi. Mi Band 5, there's some more descriptions uh, about it. I don't want to go into a lot of detail. The wrist strap, as far as I know, is not interchangeable. I think this puppy is a little bit bigger than the 4. Oh, and, and another nice feature you're going to find with this one is you don't have to pop it out of its band in order to charge it in a dock. It's going to be charged with a charging wire. All this stuff I read on the web, and you got to believe everything you find on the internet. After all, you're here, right? Oh my gosh, and I don't have a tool. I'll be right back. Got to do this the right way, you know. We're going to delicately open the box, get inside of it. Probably could have done it from the bottom. You see, it's got the rack point of purchase thing, so it could just hang in a department store, and you just pick it up and throw it in your cart, and not even think about it. There's a wire. There's the band, there's the manual, and there's nothing else down there in the box. A little spacer, it looks like. That's the crush protector. Okay, is it all Chinese? Is there any English in here? Nope, look at that, it's all Chinese. So, being icon driven, I'm just gonna throw you through here. There's how you snap it into the band. There, you might need the QR code for downloading the Mi Fit app, but hopefully I'll have the uh, link directly in the show notes for you that'll take you at least to the Google Play Store. Here you go, more info, how to pop it out. There, that's the connector, uh-huh. Some more information, some specs. You can put Google Translate on this uh, with your phone if you're playing the video on a computer or something, and it should translate all of this. I very rarely go through and show you Chinese manuals. I mean, that's really 
lengthening these videos, but this is all we got. So there you go. Now we open the band, pop it out. Oh, this is exciting. Here we go. That's that one. And we get to the uh, charger because I definitely want to show you. If any of you are out there with a Mi Band 4, you're going to really appreciate this. No, I have no idea if you can use it on your Mi Band 4. I, that would be really cool if you could, but I kind of doubt it. But you certainly can use it ah, on this one by, let's see. It looks like I got to twirl it that way probably. Yeah, yeah. And it just sucks right in there. Nice. Oh, yeah. Good and strong. It's not going anywhere. USB charged, connected. Here we are. Uh, very, very, very pliable bands on this. It's lightweight, thin. They've already popped it into the um, sleeve for us. You can take it out and get a variety of different colors. Uh, so you can be fashion conscious with this one uh, using different bands. Really nice. All right, as usual, we want to charge this thing fully. It's always a good idea to fully charge your devices before you turn them on. It helps to calibrate the battery to the exact unit you're using, all that stuff. So we're going to do that, and I'll be back with a full look at it. Well, about at this point, you're going to be really glad you're watching this review because you're going to be stuck and not able to get any further unless you know this little trick. Here we go. First of all, it took me a while to just get to the watch face because you have to tether this to the MyFit app. You have to create the account. You have to set it up and tether to the specific band. All of that stuff has to be done. And when you do, the watch will start to display the current time. It's an AMOLED screen. It's nice. It's not terribly bright, but it does work. However, there's a little problem. Remember, I told you this is the China version, not global. And so it supports only Chinese and English. Well, guess what? The only thing that's in English was the uh, watch face. Everything else is still in Chinese. So I figure like most of these, you have to understand which one is language and tap that one and go in there and switch the language. Nope, it's not there. Here's what you do. Set aside the, the band. Go to the Me Fit app. Get into the profile. Make sure, of course, that your band is connected. Go into the settings for the band. You with me so far? All right. Keep watching. I got all kinds of stuff in here. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to keep scrolling. And I'm going to find language. Tap on language change to English, say OK, and lo and behold, now the band is in English. Yep, got to do that. I hope that was worth the price you paid for the video. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, they're free. All right, let's walk through the band. We'll come back to the app. You got the time display. You slide up, you get into status, which shows you your overall step count distance, calories burned, and a lot more. It shows you your daily uh, information as well. It's really, really tiny. It's blue writing uh, primarily for the data and the categories are in white. Um, definitely something that you uh, need to look closely at to see. The PI, the personal activity information, I, there's an acronym for that. And by golly, Mr. Tix just doesn't work out enough to even score. I've had it on for about four days now, and lo and behold, I get zero for all of my days. So I'm not doing things right. I got to stop eating pie and start doing pie, and maybe I'll uh, get some data for you there. Heart rate is going to activate the diodes back here. You can get a, a single uh, reading, or I believe you've got continuous reading. Okay, now it's going into measuring. You have Two diodes flashing, low level green, not super bright, and uh, they uh, cover on either side of the sensor to give you your reading. And as far as I can tell, it's a reasonable reading. Let's keep going. Beyond heart rate are notifications if you have any sent from the phone to the band. Then there's this thing called stress, and you go into here and you can activate a stress check and see how your stress level is. And by the way, on the uh, app, you can set this up to do it regularly. 
Then you got the breathing exercises, which is really cool, where you're going to inhale and exhale. And that's always a good idea to take a stress reading, then do this exercise, and then do another stress reading and see how well this is working for you. It takes a long time. You know, the first couple of beats were to get you started. And now you can't feel it, but when it gets to the smallest circle and the biggest circle, it's also vibrating. So you don't have to watch it. You can get it set, get yourself set, ground yourself, and just wear it on your arm and follow the beat pattern. Watch it the first couple of times so you know when you're doing an inhale and an exhale and just feel for the beat. Really pretty cool. Um, like that uh, feature on here. That's the breathing. Then you have any events, I guess, that are pushed from the uh, Fit app uh, of the Me app uh, calendar section. And then you're back to your watch faces overall. Now, that was going around that way. Going back this way, I've got more. Uh, I got workouts. I got weather. There I was. Events, they're circular. Weather is the weather in your location or wherever you set up. So I set this for Shenzhen, China. I set it for Fahrenheit. Um, and I'm getting good information on the weather where all of our wonderful watchmakers live. So we can see what kind of uh, environment they're in. 93 degrees is pretty warm over there in Shenzhen this summer. Workout area. Here's all your different activities. It's GPS supported, but in a crazy kind of way. If you go into one of these events like outdoor running or cycling or something like that, it's going to ask you to make sure you're tethered to the app and GPS is on on your phone. And of course, your phone has to be with you. However, when you do a workout, you'll see all of the data on here, including your speed and pace and all those kind of things that are GPS driven. But it's happening from the GPS in your phone. Afterwards, the track will be in the app in your phone uh, accurate with the GPS. But you can use the watch or the band as a node to give you uh, feedback information on things like your speed um, and distance, accurate distance. That's pretty cool. And then finally more. More gets us into all kinds of stuff. Do not disturb. You got alarms, the camera remote, a music remote layer, stopwatch and timer. Yeah, you find your device, tap on that. And it's a nice loud ding on the other side. Uh, you can go into silent mode. Alipay only works in China. Uh, there's a world clock you can set up for seeing the time in different time zones. Your band display here now is where you change the different watch faces. And speaking of watch faces, this puppy has three installed, but you can change them to one of hundreds and hundreds of watch faces if you want to. And that is really, really cool. Um, there's whole categories of them, and I think a lot of people are buying this simply to show off to their friends all the different um, watch faces they've got. And then overall settings where we can adjust the brightness, which I'm going to bring up full brightness so you get the feel for that. Lock the screen if you need to for swimming. Auto screen off. That's probably the auto screen off time. It's set to a default, but I'm going to pop it up to 10 seconds. There we go. And it's probably almost so bright you can't read the writing, right? Um, so let's uh, tone it down just a little bit better for the video. And then you can reboot, factory reset, uh, regulatory information and about. And it's a firmware version and Bluetooth address and such is all in there. And I think now that's about everything in the watch. And there's a different watch face that we put on it. So let's hop over to the app and show you a little bit more there. So once again, remember when you get into the app, you're going to want to go all the way over to language and change it to English if you want it in anything other than Chinese. It does not automatically adjust when you tether it and set it for English like we all thought it would do, that like most other bands do. And thanks to the good folks at TomTop who searched all this out and verified that the manual setting is in um, the tab for the band itself, which we got to from the last tab here under my devices, right? All right, from the beginning, once you're all set up, once you've worn the band and once you um, launch the app and go into the first page, you're here and it's showing you your step count information for the day. 
I've worn it a little bit this morning. I got that. I've got activities for the last 30 days with daily averages. Look at that total fuel saved. It's interesting. Um, and total burned calories. I've got my steps. Uh, good ones and bad ones, I guess. My worst day is today so far, only 23. And here's uh, more totals there. And today's activities... Just a lot of good information, which, of course, you can export from the app, too. We've covered this app before on all kinds of other devices. But once again, for those who haven't seen it, here's that Pi, P-A-I. And it's a special algorithm that um, they've put together to give you one single score that once you have, get it going, you try to, like, hit a minimum of 30 and then keep it growing so that it'll get up to 100 eventually. And it's a combination of activities and targets and heart rate. And there it basically explains it to you. Um, and that's a goal thing that you can do. And they roll off the other end after about seven days or 10 days. I forget the last one leaves and the newest one comes in. And your goal is always to try to keep it equal to or higher than your uh, previous pie. And you can go back. And if I had any for any of these other days, they would be there. But it is showing you some of the data that's available. So that's that little thing. Then the stress level I was talking about. As you're wearing it, you see you get uh, a chart and you can slide anywhere along it and show you the current stress level. If you have the band off, it doesn't do anything. Here's where I put it on just before our review right now. It's showing you the breakdown of your overall stress on a daily basis. So it's pretty nifty. You like nifty? Yeah, it's reaching way back there. Peachy keen, I tell you. Um, here's last night's sleep time. Again, the breakdown, you've got deep sleep, light sleep, and REM sleep. And it's really nice when you have a device that will give you REM sleep. And this one does. That's your rapid eye movement. That's the time you're in dream state. And uh, gave me a sleep score. But I can't, like, go to a... Oh, yeah, I can. There you go. You can get to uh, certain areas and see what those areas are. They're color-coded. And so rim would be the green. There you go. And it shows you the time that I was in dream. So if you get woken up out of a dream and you look at the clock, see what time it is, come back and check the app and see if you were in a rim state then. Yep. And, of course, you can go back and check different days. There's a day I had it on and slept with it that day. You get your overall score, your sleep score, and it'll even track naps for you. It tells you a synopsis of what it thinks about you, that you didn't have enough sleep, and my deep sleep time was too short last night, and a little bit of sleeplessness, and then some more background, and so forth. It even compares you with similar users. Look at that. My goodness. So in terms of sleep data, this puppy is one of the best, it looks like. Short of those ones that monitor you for sleep apnea and all-night blood oxygen and find out your uh, lowest uh, resting heart rate. Uh, but they all have red diodes in the back. Uh, it's a special edition. And that technology hasn't yet made it to the five. Maybe the band six might have that. It is available in other bands. All right. Um, let's see. Spovian Blade is one. E66, I think, is another. T1. Uh, you can see reviews on, on those and Lorenz scatter plots and all those kind of things. But as far as basic sleep information, this one does a good job. Actually, a better job than those other apps do in all of that comparison. You know, stuff that you can really use um, to try to help extend your sleep goals. Okay, that's that whole top section. Here's an ad. Here's uh, outdoor cycling, it says. When you go into it, it, it gives you one of the nighttime view things. Everything's black. Uh, you get a full-on map in here that you can turn on or off. You get your plot against that map. And you can put little mile markers on here that shows you from where you left, your first mile, your second mile, and so forth. And as you get deeper into it, you can see your speed, your heart rate, the sections you were in. Why is Uncle Tix relaxed while he's doing a two-and-a-half-mile bike? Uh, that's because he's driving a car. 
<laughs> Those of you who know me know that I just put these things in tracking mode for a bike r ride and I just drive around with it. Hence, I don't have any pie. So <laughs> someday I will actually take it for a bike ride and I'll get at least 10 pie maybe. Shoot for 100. Okay, that's uh, outdoor cycling. And of course, you got walking, running, cycling that you can start directly from here. It opens with a map and you can do an activity right from your phone. You don't even need the band. But the band acts as a nice little node for you that gives you the information that's being accumulated actually on the app for uh, the GPS and your distance traveled and all that. The, the data is on the, uh, the it, it makes it easy to just twist your wrist and see how you're doing and not have to pull a phone out of your pocket to look at it. So it's good for that. But no GPS inside of this, but it augs, augments its activity with the GPS in your phone. Then you got your goal tracker. And I don't have any goals met, but if I did, I could download them or I could share them with social media, all of that stuff. Friends is where you can link with other people who you want to share this uh, information with. Let me dim it down a little bit. And again, now, here's this last tab where we went into the band itself, where um, you can go into the store, have all these things that you can set. App alerts, idle alerts, discoverable, heart rate uh, uh, sharing. You can wear it on the right or left wrist and lift the wrist to view the times that it'll do that or not so it doesn't wake you up in the middle of the night coming on. Night mode, heart rate monitoring, just all kinds of stuff. Workout settings, world clock where you set where you want your... Um, places to be and here you can set the weather location and lab is an experimental area that um, that they do too. We're not going to go into all of them, but um, all, these are the kind of things that you can get into. When you go into their store, you get all these different watch faces. Now, again, you can have up to three on here. And these are all kinds of dials, just a few of hundreds that you could have. Looks like the side. Oh, yeah, okay. They slide across like that. I'm a big believer in big, bright, white uh, digits on top of a black background for ease of seeing outdoors under any lighting condition. But you might prefer something different, something nice and soft or something playful. So there's stuff for boys, girls, men, women, even little animated ones. Um, so the Band 5 for sure is something that you can have a whole lot of fun playing with uh, different watch faces. And they're right here available for you under the store. And then this is a manager, local band displays and favorites, and um, the band that you're putting them on. So all of this in this app with this store, I'm pretty sure applies to all kinds of the different devices that use this app. And so make sure you always check the store, no matter which device you're getting, to see if there's some new device or, or new uh, watch faces that you could download. Okay, that's that whole area. You can set up your own stuff. You can set in your friends. Behavior track uh, tagging is uh, where you can specify what you did. These are all the different activities and even brush teeth or taking a bath. Wow. I could get the calories it takes for Mr. Ticks to take a bath. I like that. Uh, here's store again, and that takes us right back where we were from a different perspective. Ad accounts, smart analysis, sleep quality analysis is turned on, so that makes it run during the night to get all the data it needs to give you that analysis. And then overall settings where you change your units to imperial or metric and... Um, show the status in the notification shade here and check for updates and that kind of stuff. Okay, are we are we happy? <laughs> so the most important thing you need to know about this, when you get it, it's going to be in Chinese and it won't even turn on to the watch face uh, itself. You have to download the MeFit app, you have to create an account and you have to go through uh, the profile to set up the Mi Smart Band 5. When you do, you've got to go into there, you got to get down to language, and you've got to change it to English if you're going to be uh, using it 
uh, in English, which I presume all of you are. Otherwise, you're not watching this English review and you live in China and you already know this stuff. Where do you get it? You get it from our buddies at TomTop. You can get it all over the place, actually. This is a global release of this non-global watch. But we recommend TomTop using the link in the show notes here because these guys are our sponsors, helped us uh, with this watch and actually helped me figure out how to even do this review. So I'm kind of indebted to these guys. I really appreciate their support. Uh, so if you can, use the link in the show notes. If I got a discount for you, I'll uh, definitely have it uh, in the show notes next to that link and uh, try to get the price down for you a bit too. It's the Xiaomi Mi Smart Band 5. Yeah, you could compare it to the 4, to the 3, to the 2, to the 1. All that stuff is available and there's videos out there on it as well. However, I'd just say go for the 5. It, it, it's got everything in it um, up to date, latest technology, and it's, it's cheap comparatively. All right. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you again soon.